The Duke of Sussex is taking on a new leadership role at a San Francisco startup. The company focuses on mental health and personal growth. KPI X5's Kid Doe takes a closer look at Prince Harry's new title, Chief Impact Officer, and if and when we might see him around. Once COVID restrictions ease and workers come back into the office, then yes, we can expect to have a Prince Harry sighting right here at company headquarters on Folsom Street in San Francisco. He'll be expected to attend all hands meetings and special events in his new role as Chief Impact Officer. The offices of Better Up have been shut down because of COVID, but when Prince Harry does arrive, he'll find a workspace that looks much like your typical Bay Area startup. Better Up is an employee coaching and mental health platform that uses AI and behavioral science expertise to pair users with coaches and so called micro learning content. The company's CEO did not disclose Prince Harry's pay or compensation and told the Wall Street Journal the Duke will not manage any employees or have any direct reports. On the company blog, Prince Harry listed his four main goals, driving advocacy and awareness for mental fitness, guiding the company's social mission, influencing the vision of the platform, community and member experience, and outreach and strategic planning to expand coaches and membership. How do you avoid the appearance of having someone come on as say like a trophy hire? Yeah, I think that's a, a real challenge for a situation like this. After his high-profile split with the monarchy and big interview with Oprah, you could argue that his celebrity status and brand is at an all-time high. And that's where it's important for him to come in and be able to show value immediately, show value in line with the mission and what they're looking to achieve, and also be very authentic in what he brings to the organization. Dr. Sean Fletcher, assistant professor of public relations at San Jose State, said the prince should be allowed to focus on the human side of his job, being an ambassador for mental health. So I think if he resists some of the day-to-day -day trite uh, sort of rigidity of big tech, of spreadsheets and reports and hierarchy and bureaucracy, I think that Prince Harry stands a very good chance of bringing something that's much needed to big tech in Silicon Valley. In San Francisco, Kit Doe, KPIX5. And you can expect to see a lot more of the Duke and Duchess, too. They've also signed a multi-million dollar contract deal with both Netflix and Spotify.